Yo, 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 it's me, it's me, it's the P-O, P to the S, can I get a yes, coming to you live through the power of my room, holla back. Alright, this is going to be the first video of my channel, um, it's going to be Nintendo Pops, and this entire channel is going to be dedicated to me and my collection. Now, I'm uh, 18 years old at the time of recording this video. And my collection, I would say, compared to other collectors, is pretty modest in the sense of I've been, I've been playing video games my whole life, and so my collection basically consists of things that I've accumulated over my lifetime. But now that I'm 18 years old and I'm able to make my own decisions, I've decided to enforce that power in making a new hobby and that hobby is going to be collecting Nintendo. Everything Nintendo. It's going to be video games, consoles, and possibly accessories that I really care about. Um, speaking of which, I have my entire cat. I have my entire collection, all consoles, all accessories, all games, uh, in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and I'll either have that listed in the description below, or you can find it on my social media, which I've made for this purpose also. It's going to be uh, Pops' collection or something like that. But um, I didn't want this just to be a channel uh, introduction. I wanted it to also be my first video. And so for my first video, uh, I've got here a box. A box from Japan. What's inside? Nobody knows. Let's open it. Alright, can only find this big knife, so let's see what we got here. Gotta be careful not to puncture anything. I wonder what's gonna be inside. The only thing I can read that's in English is my address, which of course I will not be showing. But Let's open it up. Alright! Okay, so we got some plastic bags filled with air. And newspapers. Japanese newspapers. How exciting. Okay, and finally we have the product. Woohoo! This is exciting. Yeah. So right here we have a Color TV Game 6. Now this I ordered from eBay a while back. I don't know, I'd say two or three weeks ago. And right now I'm a student so I don't have that the that big of a funds. But um I found it for sixty dollars and I thought it was a scam. But I later found out that it was listed so lowly because, you know, you can usually find these for 100 plus, probably 200 plus. But I found it for $60 because it doesn't have a battery pack and it seems to be in poor condition. But I was reassured, I was assured that it worked. And so I think we're going to test it out and we're going to see for ourselves if it works. Here we got some tape all over this thing, which is a great sign. Whoever sent me this took a really good. Oh, just smells vintage, you know. It's got that old timey smell. So here's the box, just in case you couldn't see it clearly. Man, so I just think it's appropriate that. Oh, just, I, I guess I should mention that this is technically Nintendo's first console that they made, that they mass-produced for the consumer. And 
this isn't the first model of that console. I mean, those you can those are 200 plus and I don't have that kind of money right now. Hopefully I can get a better source of income soon. But um I was only able to get my hands on this, but hey, I'm happy with it. This is the first Nintendo console for my first YouTube video. So, oh god, I'm I'm super excited. I know I'm not showing it too well, but I'm really really excited for this. Now, uh, a fair warning: I'm gonna be testing this out on my HD TV, which I I I'm aware that if anybody here is watching this that knows what their what the, knows their stuff. They know that that's not the right way to play. I gotta play on a CRT. But like I said, I don't have unlimited funds. And all the CRTs that my parents owned, they gave away. So I'm stuck with this HDTV. I have a rig ready for it to test out, but we'll see if it works. If not, it'll be a dud for this video. Maybe I'll test it out in a future video. Or hopefully, it works this time. Wow! Okay. So we got orange plastic, and we got the console, and oh boy, does it look good. For 60 bucks, I think I made off pretty well. Oh wait, y'all can't see it. There you go. I made off pretty well for this. The only concern is, no battery, no cover for the batteries, that's why I got it for 60 It does, however, come with an AC adapter, which plugs in right here, and we will be able to test that out. And I also get that classic, classic box for the for the RF. I think it's called the RF signal, which, of course, I'm not going to be using today. But I mean, y'all can look at it. And man, does this thing! Reek of age. It's cool though. I appreciate it. It's it's a very nice setup right here. I feel like I'm being thrown back into 1977. And so we got the game console here. The way it works is there's basically these two knobs right here that are the controllers. Fortunately, this is before the age of detachable controllers. So you two players. Right, because this is this is a two-player console. Two players would have to huddle around the console and play a game. That's how they played the game. That's why the cord to the TV is so long, so that it's a, you could hold, somebody could hold the console in their lap or something. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this thing started up. I should be able to. I hope. Now, I've heard that you can't actually run this stuff through American outlets because it is that something about the Japanese consoles require 100 volts and American outlets output 120 volts or something. But I've seen people on YouTube, I've seen people on YouTube just plugging it in and it working fine. So I don't know if that's false or if it's like you got to be careful with it or something. I mean, I'm definitely being careful with this. I don't want to be touching it too much. But, um, yeah, see, look, you got Nintendo right there. You probably can't see it. It's really small. Cool. I don't think Nintendo is on anywhere else on the box, though. Maybe it's right here. Oh, there you go. You got Nintendo right there. Mm-hmm. So this is Nintendo's first console, not the first model, but the first console, so, let me see, I'm going to get out of shot for a second, I know that's bad camera etiquette, <clears throat> but, we should be doing pretty good, here's the wire, I'm going to plug it into the console, hopefully I don't ruin the system, I probably should have done more research, but I was so excited for getting the package, I had to do the I had to do the video today. Okay, so the console's plugged in. Everything seems to be okay for the, for the time being. 
Let me turn on the TV. And I'll, I'll show you all the TV. I'll show you all the break. Just give me one second. So, I, I mentioned earlier that I wasn't going to be using the box because I found myself not being able to plug this thing into a box, into the box, because if I did, I'd have to connect it to the TV using these fork things, right? And I can't, I, my HD TV, these have been, these have been gone for ages now. Only those really, really old CRT TVs would probably still have those, the, those, uh, those little fork things where you had to screw them into your TV and stuff. I've seen all the videos. So, what I'm doing instead is I'm completely bypassing this little box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it straight into my TV and I have a little rig here. I'll show you. So, what we got here is this little rig right here. You see, it screws into the antenna input of my TV, and I have a little modification at the end so that I can plug it in. So, let's go ahead and test that out. Uh, let's see here. Here's the wire right here. And we're going to take it. Let me put the camera down for this. Sorry. First video has always got to start off rough. Let me set this up. Oh, by the way, you might be wondering why I don't just edit this stuff out. I can tell you why, and it's a simple reason, really. The reason is, as I said, mentioned before, I am a student, and so I don't really have all the time in the world to just be, you know spending all this time to just edit videos and crop things out and add effects and maybe do title cards and stuff like that. I don't have that kind of time. So, I got my setup here. The wire's plugged in. And Let's see if I can get it on. Oh, and I think this is an appropriate time to mention that I do have a special guest for this video. And it's... He's been here, and he's been waiting for me to cue him in. And I think it's time I cue him in. So, Mac, welcome to the show. It's my little brother. So, let's get this thing going. So... I believe this is the on switch. So I'm going to turn it on. And there we go. Wow, that's bright. And it works. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It works. My ghetto rig is able to put the picture on the screen. And it looks pretty clear. Clearer than I've ever seen on any of the YouTube videos. Except for one I can think of, but... All right, I guess we can play ourselves some pong. Um, let me see. Uh, I believe that this green start button starts the game. So let's go ahead and start. Wow, the controllers are very responsive. Yes. Oh man, this is just a blast. Honestly, it's a blast from the past. So, of course, be, with it being an HD TV, it's it's got some lag, right? It's got some lag, so that's to be expected. But I mean, it's not too bad, and it's pretty. It's pretty responsive, like the controllers are nice and smooth. And so, 
yeah, I cannot believe this is working on us. I'm, I'm in shock. Like, how, how do you... I was not expecting it to work out this well, so... I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Alright. So, here, we have... Here, we, it looks like we have a number of switches. So, I believe this switch... Yeah. I believe this switch... I'm going to let the camera focus here. This switch changes the size of my paddle. And the switch right next to it changes the size of Max paddle. Which is very interesting if you want to play like a handicap match. So, in the sense of, I'm small and he's large. And I still win, of course. And so, that's those switches. This switch, I believe... Uh, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, of course. It controls ball speed. So, if I take it right here, here's the slow, slower speed. And here's the faster speed. Yep. It works. I am very impressed with this machine right here. 1977. Works on an HD TV with relatively low lag. I'm impressed. Just in case y'all are wondering, I have a Samsung. So, if y'all want to get in on this. And the last switch, I believe, yep, it... Okay, maybe I should... There you go. It makes double teams. And so... Here's me moving my paddle. Here's me moving Max paddle. We got two teams. Oh, and it looks like 15 points is the limit to the game. Which is interesting, but... Fair, I suppose. You don't want a pong game going for too long. And then the last and final switch, I believe, switches between the games. Yeah, so you got... So you have your green screen which has nothing in between your orange screen which has the couple blockades in between I'm not sure if they actually it doesn't seem that they block your path which is weird so what's the difference between the orange and the green oh wait a second now I control the second the first and the third Paddles. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, I'll, t I'll take that. And then, of course, the final game is the one with the billions of blockades in the middle. Let's block everything. So, from what I've heard, it's called TV Game 6 because it's supposed to have six games, but this only has three separate toggles. So, that's one, two... Three. So I'm not sure where the six is unless it's like multiplayer, multi paddle, and not multi paddle. But that seems kind of cheap to me that it doesn't just have six different games. I've heard the TV game 15 does have 15 different games, but I don't have that in my collection yet. So I can't say for sure whether or not that is true or not. We're going to go ahead and turn it off for right now. And we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to Matt because he's got to go. <laughs> what a sweet kid. Alright. So, <clears throat> that was my review of the TV Game 6. I guess I should give it a score, huh? I mean, it was... It's primitive, right? It's no, like, Mario Galaxy or Mario Odyssey, which is the one that just came out. But, I mean, for its time, I'm sure. I mean, to, to me, it's amazing right now. But, for its time, I'm sure it's, it was cutting edge. And I'm really happy that I didn't fry it. Maybe I shouldn't keep it plugged in too long, just in case, though. We'll see. But, um, yeah, uh, TV Game 6.
Very, very cool console. So, that's the end of my review. And I don't plan on making these videos very long. The point of this channel, for me, is basically to keep a record of all of the things that I collect. I want, I want to be able to pick up something in my collection and then put it here as sort of a time stamp, a timeline of my collection and watching it grow. I want to be able to look back no, a number of years from now and think, wow, look at all the, look at how little I had back in that day. And I, and I aspire to be like huge collectors, like I've been watching your last gamers, your Nintendo collecting, I've seen his channel. I mean, and it's impressive all the stuff that he has. And it's people like that who really have led me to push myself to say, you know what, I'm going to pursue this hobby. And so that's what I'm doing. And I started with this. This is the first thing I've officially added to my collection because of my collection as opposed to just growing up with it. Um, I'm also putting this out here just in case anybody else finds some sort of entertainment from watching my like that's the point of this channel the point is I want to watch myself grow but I also just in case anybody wants to anybody else can watch my growth too and that's I think that's pretty cool so I'm taking advantage finally of this wonder we call YouTube and I'm doing something cool with it so yeah that's the TV game 6 and that is my channel. Welcome. In the description, I have the links to my social, my social medias and stuff. Um, feel free to message me there if you have any questions. If you wanna, if you wanna talk about uh, how I'm gonna collect, what am I doing? If you have any tips for me, if you have any, if you have something, oh, in my, in my, in my social medias and possibly in my description, if I can figure that out. I have a list of my entire collection so that anybody can see what exactly it is that I own and if you find the need to if you feel like you want to help me grow as a collector you can donate if you want I'm not pressuring you it's up to you honestly I don't expect this to be a very big thing I'm, pre I'm pretty much I'm pretty much expecting to just be talking to myself at this point, but, you know, just in case. I mean, but it's good to cover my bases. So, that's it. Welcome to Nintendo Pop's first video. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I expect there to be many more videos to come. Have a great day.